If you are currently experiencing a BSOD with stop code error called IRQL not less or equal, then here is a fix for you. Let's go! First, let's understand what IRQL not less or equal means. This error typically occurs when there's an issue with memory access by the operating system's kernel or drivers. It can be caused by outdated drivers, memory problems, hardware issues, or software conflicts. If you can still access Windows Desktop or at least boot into Windows Safe Mode, there's still a chance to fix the problem. However, if you can't access both, then there might be a little hope for resolving this issue. If you are able to access Windows Desktop or Safe Mode, please follow the next instruction in Step 1. But if you are unable to do so, please skip ahead to Step number 5. With that said, let's begin. Step number 1. Update Device Drivers One of the most common causes of this error is outdated or incompatible device drivers. We will start by updating all drivers, especially those related to hardware components like the graphics card and the motherboard. Also updating Windows will help solve this problem as well, so update it when needed. After doing so, just restart your PC and let's see how it goes. If this does not still work, then let's proceed to the next step. Step number 2. Check for memory issues. We will run a memory diagnostic test to check the RAM issue, since faulty RAM sticks can also cause this BSOD. To begin, press Windows key on your keyboard and type Windows Memory Diagnostic, then select it from the search result. A window will appear with two options but I want you to choose Restart Now and Check for Problems. Your computer will restart and initiate a test on its physical memory. This process may take some time, so allow it to run undisturbed. But you can cancel the test anytime by pressing escape key. After the test completes, if no issues are found, you'll receive a message stating no problems were detected. However, if issues are detected, you may need to try one RAM stick at a time to check which RAM stick is causing the problem. Or you could also replace the RAM stick set entirely to prevent memory-related problems in your PC. If memtest didn't work, well, we need to proceed to the next step. Step number 3. Scan for System File Corruption System file corruption can contribute to BSOD errors. We'll use System File Checker or what we called SFC tool to scan and repair any corrupted system files. This step is crucial for maintaining system stability. To run SFC, open command prompt as administrator and enter the command SFC forward slash scan now. Allow the scan to complete as it may take some time to reach 100%. If any corrupted or missing system files are detected, the tool will try to repair them automatically. If it works, then you are good to go. If it doesn't, then we'll need to proceed to the next step. Is step number 4. Troubleshoot problematic software. Certain software or drivers may conflict with the system and cause BSOD errors. This can be those unnecessary gaming software that you might have installed already in your PC. Such software often promises to improve your PC's speed and performance, but they are usually just marketing gimmicks. The truth is, there is no software that can deliver those claims without having any issues such as what we are experiencing today. If you genuinely want to boost your PC's performance, the most effective way is to overclock it through the BIOS settings. Anyway, my point is, just uninstall those software for now. Restart your PC and see how it goes. If you are still experiencing the same BSOD after this, then let's move on to the next step. Speaking of overclocking, step number 5 is what we need to do, undo any overclocking. If you have overclocked your CPU, RAM, or GPU, it could be causing instability and triggering BSOD error. Let's revert any overclocking and run the system in default settings for now. You can overclock your PC again after we complete the test to address the BSOD issue. Even if you didn't do any overclocks, this next step may help fix your PC. Now to remove any overclocks or run the system in default settings, we need to clear CMOS. Now what you need to do is to shut down the PC, unplug it from the outlet, 
Remove the CMOS battery for 5 minutes and place it back again before powering your PC back on. And then again, if this does not work then let's move on to the last step. Step number 6. Check for hardware issues. Hardware issues like loose connections, damaged components, or faulty hardware can lead to BSOD errors. Based on my experience, this often indicates a faulty boot drive. Replacing the boot drive can resolve this issue, but keep in mind that you won't be able to recover your files from your current boot drive. If you really have important files in the C drive, just bring it to a local shop and have them recover it for you. If you don't, just have a fresh Windows installation and be done with it. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. And if it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Once again, guys, this is Mac. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.